So things are turning bad to worse here. There's been some big wildfires in Catalonia, very close to where we previously were in Margalef. Really big fires, 16,000 acres. Uh, and basically the Forestry Commission, the Forestry Police, have just come here and said we can't park here. They've just closed the track off uh, just up the road. And he said we can't park it because of the risk of the fire. And I mean, this isn't very good news because if the cat comes back now, it's, you know, where this is the last place she knows we were, we're not going to be here. So Martina's quite stressed. She's just gone out to look for Simba. And he said we have to move like now, as soon as you can. So we've just packed up and we're going to move to a spot just up the road. <music> This is our new park spot. Really nice spot actually. Lovely view of the lake from up here. So there's this old house no one lives in. It looks a bit creepy, a bit run down. Uh, so we're gonna have a look in there while it's daytime to make it a bit less creepy. This is the only way in. <laughs> Creepy as fuck. Nope. I don't think she's in here. That smell. Yeah, I don't know. Not going to be a dead body in here, is it? <laughs> you checked under the beds. Yeah, that's why I couldn't really see properly. But yeah, I don't look good. Ugh, yeah. yeah. that's mould gone to another level. Oh, I had to check. No luck in the abandoned house. So, yeah, it's another one ticked off and done and no result. Not quite sure what we're going to do next. So yesterday the tracker for Martina's cat arrived. He had it on all last night and it looks quite big but he hasn't once tried to scratch it off or or take it off or anything. It must be quite comfortable. So last night was his first night with the tracker on and we checked the app this morning. The battery's only gone down 10% which is pretty good. So that one line there that was when we turned it on when we went for dinner in Tremp. Mm -hmm. You can see everywhere he's been and each time. At one point he went quite far. That's about that's about half a kilometre from the van. So yeah, he's been a very busy boy. Haven't you? No wonder you're tired now. Obviously this track is extremely useful because if they were, God forbid, hit by a car or they got into a serious fight with another animal. And we can see their last location or the location, uh, their live location. So it's really, really useful. And in hindsight, we would have bought two of these before. So Martina has been in touch with a... Uh... Cat behavioralist. And what have they said? They've said that it's um, the fact that somebody heard my cat meow and then the cat didn't come out of the hiding spot even when cold, which I've been, you know, doing for the past two weeks and a half, is a typical behavior of a cat that's been misplaced or displaced. I don't know. Mm. 
Anyway, she just said that I have to come back here around the times that the cat's been heard meowing. It's very unlikely it's on any other cat because that's the only cat in the area. And I'll have to leave food close to our house and just see what happens. Which I've already done, obviously, but I've only done once. So maybe that's going to change now, especially yeah. now the heat wave's over. Martin is just sending a video to the cat behaviorist to explain the uh, what the area is like, houses, etc. So we've planted some food, as per instructed. So there is a little bit of hope we might find the cat because Martina left some tuna fish uh, up near the houses where there was a meow herd, and today it's eaten. So I'm not sure what other animals eat tuna, obviously a dog, but there's not any, no dogs live up there. Uh, so we're not too sure. So tonight we're going to test out the cage. I think Martine is actually going to stay uh, sleep in her car next to the cage, put some tuna in the cage or some cat food. And fingers crossed we catch Milu tonight. We need to make sure the okay. cat trap works. So we're testing it on Simba. This is the bait. Simba, you're about to get fed, kind of. That's enough, isn't it's it? not about making sure it works. It's about making sure you know it is not. It should not be in there. Yeah. Put the food here, and when they step on this, <laughs> boom, trapped. I don't think it's that stupid. <laughs> so. He doesn't, he's not going to go in the cage. Simba! Simba! No, he's not going to go what in the cage. What if you do that? And this is like and without having to just stop it already. Simba! He's not, like, we just moved here yesterday, that's not... Yeah, it didn't work. He's not going in the cage. This is the cat trap. Food goes in there. A little trail of food. And the cat touches there, <laughs> the lid comes down. Perfect. So still nice, no sign of Milu. Uh, we've stayed a lot, lot longer than expected. We're only supposed to stay a week. We've stayed several weeks uh, and there's just no sign that she's gonna come back. We left food out. Uh, there was a meow herd near one of the houses. So we left food out and it was eaten, but this was about a week ago. And since then we've been leaving food every night with a camera and no sign of her, the food hasn't been eaten. We just don't know what the house happened to her. But what we are going to do is we've bought three months supply of cat food uh, and we're going to give this to the lady in the house and she's going to put it out each night. And if it does get eaten, then she said she can put up a camera and we can go from there. Today we have left uh, Teradets, Mount Raby. So what Martine has done is she's left a lot of posters up we're now going to North Spain. The heat was just too much in Catalonia, you know, 38, 37 degrees. Uh, so we're heading to North Spain, which looks about 20 degrees and cloudy. Hopefully it's a bit better weather, because we both want to learn to surf and also climb. We're heading to a place near La Hamida. It's, it's quite, quite near, about an hour from Santander. Uh, about an eight, nine, maybe 10 hour drive in the van. Looking forward to getting there. 